Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Netgear R6300 Wi-Fi router. A couple things I want to note before getting into the box. You get wireless speeds of up to 450 megabits per second on a 2.4 gigahertz band and up to 1300 megabits per second on a 5 gigahertz band. It's ideal for HD gaming and video streaming. You'll be able to HD stream on multiple devices, which is great if you have a family with kids. And you'll also be able to set up parental controls as well as guest network access. It's easy to install using your Genie app and you'll be able to download this application um, from your PC, Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. And using the um, application, you'll get a dashboard where you can monitor, control, and repair your home network. It's also DLNA compatible and uh, compatible with 802.11 AC and backward compatible with 802.11 A, B, G, and N. Here's everything that comes in the box. We have the router itself, which I will talk about in just a little bit, but let's move on over here for your installation guide. And here's some information on where you can update your product. And your GNU General Public License. And here's an offer from eMusic.com for some free songs and an audiobook. Some more information on their uh, various other products. And info on their Neo TV streaming player. And this is your Ethernet cable. AC adapter, and power cord. Now for a look at the router. The front has a flat and sleek look to it, which I really like, and it's different from all the other routers that I've seen. And over here we have some indicators for your power, internet, Wi-Fi, and USB. And over here are some indicators for these buttons on the side. This button will turn your Wi-Fi on and off, and this is your push and connect button, which will turn your Wi-Fi protected setup on or off. And here is your USB 2.0 port where you can plug in a printer to share across your network. And they've given you an additional USB 2.0 port, so you have the option of plugging in a hard drive. Now we have these four LAN ports here where you can plug in other computers and a WAN port to plug into your modem, reset and power button, and finally your power port. That wraps up our overview on this Netgear R6300 Wi-Fi router. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.